Hello, and welcome to Writing Tips with Rachel. Today I'm sharing my best tips for training like a writing athlete. Some creative people think creativity only happens when the muse strikes. That always sounded strange to me. Who's the muse? Am I not my own muse? Am I in charge of my creativity or is someone else? If I had to depend on some nameless, invisible muse who may or may not show up when I had some extra time to write, how would I ever get anything done? It all sounded very unpredictable, and I don't like unpredictable, if you haven't already figured that out. So I probably don't even need to tell you that I don't subscribe to this belief. Instead, I try to train like a writing athlete. I can hear the groans already. Training? Athlete? We became writers so we didn't have to expend that much energy. While it is some work to train like a writing athlete, I promise it's not as much physical as it is mental. And if you're the kind of creative person who prefers waiting for inspiration to strike, then the following tips can help lay out the red carpet for the muse. Number one, be consistent. I know it's not easy being consistent. I have six kids. This summer was a flurry of pediatrician well checks and eye doctor and dentist appointments and that's just the scheduled extras. Kids introduce so many variables into life. Someone forgot to tell me about drama practice. Someone missed the morning bus. Someone got sick. Someone decided he didn't like carrots anymore. But still, if all else fails, I try to squeeze in at least 15 minutes to half an hour of writing time every day. I'd prefer more, sure, but the consistency is what's important. Consistency leads to necessary gains. Just like my consistent training makes me a better, stronger runner, so consistent training or practice makes us better, stronger writers. Build your process. Experiment with what works for you. We're all different. Don't worry about how fast or slow you write. Focus on the best training schedule for you. Number two, don't be afraid to add variety. For a long time, I believed that if I wasn't training in my one specific fitness area, running, it hindered my progress. Until I injured myself and had to take some time off, which is actually what hindered my progress. I spent that time off strength training, adding Pilates and yoga to my regular workout rotation, and rowing. I came back a much stronger runner than I was before. Writing needs variety too. When we write in different genres for different age groups, it challenges and stretches us as writers, even if those compositions never go beyond a very short story on our hard drive. Adding variety into our regular writing routine can strengthen our main discipline. So if we normally write novels and we add some short stories for variety, we'll write better novels. If we write essays most of the time and we change it up to write a little poetry, we'll write better essays. In the same way, adding a variety of creative disciplines into our regular routine can make us better at our main creative discipline. Do other creative things that don't seem to have anything to do with writing. Compose some songs, draw some pictures, pick up an instrument, dance like no one's watching. Creativity enhances creativity. Number three, rest and recovery are just as important as the discipline of work. You know where fitness gains really happen? In the rest, after putting in the work. Muscles repair themselves and get stronger. Lungs expand and improve their capacity. I like to think the same is true in writing. The brain keeps working even when we take time off. The subconscious mind works while we're unaware of it. So take a day or two or a whole week off. Spend the time doing other creative things or nothing at all. Let your brain rest. It will keep working for you, but will appreciate the rest all the same. That's it for today's Writing Tips with Rachel. I hope these tips have been helpful to you. I'd love to know some of your tips for training like a writing athlete. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for videos about books and life and more videos like this. Thanks for watching.